If it is not already on, turn on the computer in the classroom podium and log in using your UNF N number and password. Once Windows is up and running, use the mouse to click in the lower left, then type Zoom, and the Zoom app will appear. Click on it to start up the Zoom software. Log in to your UNF Zoom account. ITS has already set up the application to fill in much of the default information for the Zoom single sign-on. You will need to go through multi-factor authentication, so have your Duo-enabled smartphone or key fob ready. In the Zoom app, start up a meeting. You may have already scheduled your class period as a Zoom meeting, or you can use the orange New Meeting button to start your personal Zoom meeting. We recommend you have your class period pre-scheduled as a Zoom meeting so that you can share the meeting information with any distant students who may need to join via Zoom. Once the meeting has started and you have joined using the computer's audio, you will want to set up the wireless microphone so your voice is fed into the Zoom meeting and the huddle camera mounted to the classroom ceiling so that it will capture you visually. Connect the Shore microphone headset to the Shore body pack that is housed in the drawer of the podium. Turn on the body pack power and put the headset on. In the Zoom meeting, select the Scarlett Solo as your microphone. Your voice will now be fed to both Zoom and the speakers in the classroom. On the Zoom meeting, select the huddle camera as your video source. If the camera is not shown, make sure the camera is turned on. A blue light will show on the camera if it is on. If it is not, Use the red power button in the upper right corner of the remote control to power on the camera. You can also use the remote control to aim the camera to capture where you will be standing and any portion of the dry marker board you plan to use. You can also adjust this during your class if you need to shift to a different portion of the room. If you wish to record your classroom session, just select Record to the Cloud on Zoom or press Alt-C on the keyboard. Zoom will record your meeting to your Zoom account and will send you an email with a link to it after you stop recording. You may wish to set your Zoom meeting to gallery view so that you can see all your distant students. You may also wish to open the chat window so you see any messages they send you. Your distance students will be able to hear you, but they will not be able to hear the local students in the classroom. Local students, however, will be able to hear you and the distance students, if the distance students unmute themselves. If you plan to share a PowerPoint presentation or browser page or any other application with your students, you will need to power on the classroom projector and drop the projection screen. The projector and screen work just as they always have. Once you have your presentation up and running, use the Zoom share screen to share your presentation with distant students.